this is how I play the game! Sound good? Absolutely in 2018, I'm going to be doing Bloodborne, the second run, anything for this, right? And Bloodborne, the redemption run for the Old Hunters DLC. Because for those who aren't aware, I played Bloodborne when it was brand new on the PS4 back in the day, a couple years ago, was it three years ago now? And I loved it, I really did like the game, I thought Bloodborne was a great game, I never necessarily mastered the engine, but I did pretty good. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, I did pretty good at it. Um, what I want to do this time is not grind at all. I want to play it legitimately from start to finish without any grinding. I'm the worst gamer on the planet. All right, and see how I do in it without actually artificially inflating my levels. I would be failing even more. Fair enough, that's number one. Number two, um, the Old Hunters DLC came out much later in the year. If you guys remember, Bloodborne came out relatively early in uh, what year, every year that was. Was it 2015? I don't even know. But it came out kind of early, you know, the first few months, the first for half of the year. And then the DLC came out in the midst of the hardcore gaming season. It actually came out the week of November. And if you're not, the week of, uh, excuse me, uh, I think it's Thanksgiving. And if you remember, I was playing Fallout 4. I was loving Fallout 4. And I was like, I don't want to stop playing Fallout 4 to play this fucking DLC. I told everyone I was going to skip it and everyone got angry at me. Oh my God, I wasn't able to do whatever I wanted. So I said, fine, I'll play it. I played it one session. I hated it because the fucking first boss in it is so insanely overpowered. He's such a fucking dick. He is way too good. And the reason was, I found out because people said, Phil, you gotta play this DLC on New Game Plus. They fooled me. I'm not a whiny baby. I basically played it at a difficulty level that was way harder than what I was used to. I shouldn't have done it. I'm a brain dead idiot, and I need the game to be as easy as fucking possible for me to play. And these idiots fooled me into doing it. Why am I toxic? And, you know, they trolled me, basically. And uh, it, I couldn't do I couldn't even beat the first ball. <laughs> Unbelievable. Phil's a loser. So this time around, what I want to do, a legitimate run through Bloodborne from start to finish, no grinding, and with the Old Hunters DLC included in it, all right, um, with not in fucking New Game Plus, but actually normal level, so I can actually beat it and get fucking through it and do all that, okay? So I'm excited for that. I think that'll be pretty good. I think you guys will like that as well, a legitimate run with no grinding and everything. Um, that's going to be sometime in 2018. Is it early 2018, later? I don't know. Again, I haven't seen the, re the game release schedule yet. I have no idea what even is coming out in 2018. Um, however, the other thing you guys have to realize is what I've been telling you, this thing that's been kind of looming in the background over my head. I don't even know if I'm going to live here in 2018. Oh my god. Like, I'm just so tired of this stupid shit. That's the bottom line, is like, in the next month to month and a half, I'm going to get a determination on a few things, alright? Actually, it's... So the other thing is, it's multiple issues that are going on with me. It's not just one fucking thing that's happened. It's a few things on top that are kind of snowballing. And I'm nervous about double things that are completely different. That's your fault. You're the one who created that economic situation. And depending on what happens with these things, I'm going to find out whether or not I can afford to still live here next year. And if not, I'm going to have to start the process of putting my house up for sale, getting this house ready to sell. And then finding a way to fucking either find another place out here in Washington to live or moving back to the fucking condo in Connecticut, which is the last thing I want to do. I'm not a whiny baby. Honestly, it would be awful because the weather there, again, not good for my back, not good for my health. It would mean going back to worse internet. It would mean going back to higher taxes. It would mean a lot of things. Oh, living out here, I've loved living out here. The money helps me out tremendously. Give their money, give their money. Then that's all I care about. Listen, I am no moral. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Since mid-2014, it's like, and I've said this many times, if I could stay here for the rest of my life, I would. I would live right here for the rest of my life and be happy. But it does, I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna happen. I might have to go all the way back to square one. And when you finally find out the shit, what the shit is, you won't believe it. I'm serious, you won't fucking believe it. It's just another fucking thing. Another thing. It's just insane. But, anyway, maybe I, I have to see what information I get. If I get more information this week, I'll give it to you. Maybe I could talk about it a little bit on the Thanksgiving podcast. I don't know. I have to see because right now I'm in limbo waiting for like news and stuff and I'm just, I'm not getting the answers I want and I'm not very sa satisfied right now. I'm pretty angry, honestly, because I hate being in limbo. I want to be able to tell you guys, guess what guys, next year, here's what we're doing and this is great and, but, and I can't even do that right now. My whole life's in fucking limbo because it's bullshit, so. I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. 
Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.